Well, joining us now is the president of RCH Auxiliaries, Dr. Miriam Wees, and... Also, and Ruth Murray's here. Hello, Ruth. <laughs> and Ruth's jump, here as well. They're doing grab a seat. extraordinary <laughs> work raising money. I mean, we've been blown away by the atmosphere at the hospital today, but you get to experience this all year, Miriam. Absolutely. And um, our volunteers are just so incredibly dedicated. Auxiliary women and men are fantastic, dedicate their time and energy on so many fantastic activities. Yeah, talk us through a couple of those activities, Ruth. What sort of things have you been up to in the last 12 months? Oh, what have we done in the last 12 months? How about what have we done today? Right. My team, the Cancer Crusaders, are over there fundraising like crazy today, so we're responsible for all the balloons walking around the building. So, yeah, we've done that. We've done dinner dances. We've done high teas. We've done Oaks Day functions. We've done Christmas markets. Um, Cancer Crusaders are a really busy bunch of only 12 people, and we're very ecstatic to hand over 128,000. 128,000. Oh, wow. Ruth, I can see how emotional that makes <laughs> you and the hard work, or you're just simply exhausted from all of those functions. Uh, extremely exhausted because half of them happen in my own home. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will never understand the full extent of the heart and soul that you ladies put into this, but today's an important day because we all get a bit of a taste of, of what it is that you do and how we can contribute and make this a better place. Really, and everybody's donation makes such a difference. And yes, auxiliaries have really worked hard over the last 12 months, as they do every year. Sure. But everybody can make a difference, whether it's small or large. It makes a difference to the kids and helps them get better. And that's what I think amazes us, because we sort of blow in from interstate and we're, we're just constantly amazed each and every year by the generosity of Victorians, not just here in Melbourne, but right around the country as well, isn't it, Miriam? But that's also because the hospital helps children right around Australia as well. It's not just a hospital for Victorian kids. If kids have an emergency in New South Wales, in Tasmania, they can also end up at the children's hospital if it's an area that they need help with that the hospital specialises in. Nick McCallum actually introduced us to a family from Tasmania who'd come up here for treatment. It's the yeah. same for kids who come here from Perth, from Brisbane, from yeah. all over the place because the, the treatment here is world class, isn't it, Miriam? Absolutely. We really are one of the best hospitals in the world. It's amazing. And are you, this is a huge day, but are you already planning what happens tomorrow and the day after? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. As tomorrow I'll be delivering Easter egg hampers. <laughs> right. And, and the clean-up. But um, it's all worthwhile. Every little bit makes turns into a big bit, and every big bit makes a huge difference. Ruth, for you, why did you want to get involved in this in the first place? Because it's tireless work, and you've run us through the, the calendar over 12 months. It's not just one yeah. day. Um, my situation's probably a little bit different to most because I, I fundraise for cancer research and I haven't had a child suffering from cancer. But my theory is you never know what's around the corner for your families and if we can make the world a better place, go for it. And, Miriam, we're, we're seeing piles and piles of donations coming in. Some of them are for 5 bucks, some of them for $1,000, but you know better than anybody that every single dollar helps us along the way, right? It, it does, and um, every dollar is accounted for. Every dollar goes to, to the work of the children's hospital, mm. and that's the remarkable thing. There aren't a lot of organisations that could say that, yeah. and it does make such a difference to the kids. I think we supply a lot of the extras. I was just you about know, to ask about all the extras. extras Ruth. Yeah. We've been talking it's things a lot that, about that. Sorry, go on. So it's all the things that, that, don't, that don't come through government funding, you know, and that's what makes ours a great hospital, not just a hospital. We had Josh Frydenberg in a little bit earlier on uh, adjudicating a race with the cash cow. Maybe you can hit him up while he's here for a bit more funding. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, <laughs> what we love about this hospital too is not just the amazing health facilities, but the facilities for families to make their stay here just that little bit easier, Miriam. It's true, but I also think that one of the things that is outstanding about the hospital is that it's a hospital for all children. Mm. It really doesn't matter where you're from, who you are. It is a hospital for every kid, particularly in Victoria. Yeah. Um, and that's what makes it special. But yes, we have family facilities 
and such a lot of support for the families as they go through the journey with their kids. It's important that you're sitting here talking to us now because we can feel and understand the passion and the heart and soul that goes into it from every level of yeah, everybody.